Hello, I'm JForceG, G, and welcome to the second of my Bricks and Node series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to work with nav meshes, as well as creating a patrol behavior for our enemy. So really quickly, we are going to use Bricky Nodes, which is a better layout than um, our uh, brick node brick uh, uh, logic brick theme bobber here. I have a video on installing it. It's super easy. Um, yeah. So right now I have our player uh, thingy here. We just press play and he can move around there. But we're going to create a uh, new uh, node tree for our enemy. Make sure our enemy is selected here. Node tree. And we're going to call it enemy behavior. Now shift A and I'm going to add a sensor. I'm going to add a always sensor just to show you. It's, it's subject to change, but uh, it is just a, for educational purposes. I'm going to add a steering actuator and a seek. There we go. It's behavior seek target object uh, player. And now we can connect these mofos up. Now if we press play we'll see that our enemy is going towards the general direction of our player but he he's pretty dumb because he doesn't under he doesn't know how walls work so we're gonna fix that now in order to fix that we can click on our uh, the mesh we want him to navigate and then go to our scene properties and right here build a navigation mesh build navigation mesh now if we go back to our enemy behavior and change add our navigation mesh nav mesh that we just generated press p look he doesn't try to do the thing it's because we have to add behavior to path following now if we press uh, p he'll be doing the thing uh not very good because um he doesn't understand that he's too fat so there are a few ways around this uh we can delete this nav mesh and play with all these um uh, values and then build another nav mesh but what I like to do is simply just change our nav mesh in edit mode so I went to the top view here and I'm going to choose edges and uh, now I'm going to choose this edge bring it in a bit kind of scale it down on the x-axis bring this one down a bit or you know what <clears throat> scale that down on the y-axis and Maybe bring it down a bit there. Maybe this is too wide, so yeah. Now if we press play, let's see what happens here. Is he smart enough to go around it? Yes, he is. Although, it's still a little bit too close. So I'm just going to bring it out a bit like it was before. There we go. Press P. Haha, -ha, he is a smart boy. High IQ, he'll be teaching at Harvard in no time. Another thing we can do is even like extrude our um, nav mesh, so we can we can even add to the path. So, for an example, I added a nav mesh. I, I extruded it over here. Now I'm going to press P, and I'm going to move my player over here, and uh, he'll follow us there. But there is an issue, and that issue is he he he's uh, an anime character that defies gravity. So, how we can fix that? is we can make sure our player is selected and disable lock Z trans uh, velocity. Now we'll see that our, our, our um, enemy is no longer a anime character, Uwu, that defies gravity. So I'm gonna just go ahead and delete this here, this wall, uh, or this uh, that part of the nav mesh. All right, now we're gonna add two things. We're gonna add a patrol kind of behavior for him and we're gonna add a uh, sort of like mode that makes it so when the uh, player is seen by the enemy, he'll chase him. So uh, I went ahead and deleted the logic bricks that we have on our enemy. Um, so we could add some new ones. I'm gonna add a game property uh, to our enemy and I'm gonna call it is seen player make it a boolean going to add a sensor here um, and it's going to be a property sensor 
and we're gonna rename these for organization purposes. So is um, player scene, but I'm not gonna do this for everything, uh, for every uh, section. Like I'm not gonna do this, but I'm gonna leave it up to you to keep your 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 stuff organized. So is scene player. If this is true, then we gotta have a thing that happens. And what's gonna happen is the enemy is gonna move towards the player. So we're gonna add a steering actuator. We're gonna add path following, target player, and navigation, nav mesh. And I don't want it to lock on the velocity. Okay. So let's see here. Let's test it out. I just enabled is seeing player. And there we go. He's following. Uh, but by default, it shouldn't be uh, enabled. So we are going to add a um, sensor called um, ray. We're going to add a ray sensor here. <coughs> All right. And we're going to add we're going to click on our player and add a game property. All right, we're going to call it player. All right, just to reference it. Click on our enemy again, so everything we do here is applied to our enemy. All right, and our ray is going to search for player. Uh, if we go to our top view here, we can see that our, our enemy is facing the x-axis. So we're going to make sure that the ray shoots out from the plus x-axis and around around six here and um so what will happen when this invisible ray shoots out from the enemy and hits the player uh property well what will happen is um it's gonna change this property to can see to true so let's see here we're gonna add a property uh, actuator property assign can see true well, we're gonna connect these mofos up and we're gonna test it out all right and what do you know it works haha -ha. but maybe maybe we can um, extend the ray a bit more to, I don't know something crazy like 10 that way yeah. There we go. Good, that's what we want. Now that these rules are in place, let's add uh, another rule. And that is, um, not so much rule, but we're going to add a game property. Make sure our enemy is selected. Add game property here. And we're going to call it patrol. We're going to give it an integer value. And it's going to start at 1. All right. Now we're going to add two empty objects, and we'll make them um, we'll make them cubes. Sure, we'll move it over here. We'll call this one Patrol Two. I'm going to bring it up a bit. I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. All right. Uh, now I'm going to give it a collision type static. I'm going to make it a ghost, so um, it'll our enemy will go right through it. And collision bounds. I'm going to enable box. Now I'm going to copy and paste this one here. Move the copy and paste one over here. I'm going to call this one Patrol One. All right. I'm going to make sure our enemy is selected and we're going to get get into the logic behind our care our enemies patrolling. All right, so we're going to add a sensor, a property sensor called um we're going to add a uh, patrol and is it equal to 1 then we can add a steering actuator going to have it path following and it's going to move to patrol one and navigation mesh add all that good stuff all 
Alright. I'm gonna save, because you never know what could happen. I crashed once already when trying to make this video. Um, and now, if we test it out, press P, he should move to that location. Right? So we're gonna add a... We're gonna do the same thing here. Property, but for the second property. Uh, oh yeah, make sure our enemy is selected first. Never forget that when you're working with these um, bricky nodes. Property, patrol, equal to two. Um, actuator, steering. Following. So yeah, the same, the same thing, just for patrol two here. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of lock Z velocity. Control C, Control S. Save that mofo, and we're gonna switch it to two for testing purposes and press play. Woohoo! He goes to the thing. He goes to the second thing. Okay. We're also gonna add another condition to these, and I'm gonna rename them again, just to the label them. Uh, patrol equal two patrol equal one I'm gonna call this move to uh, patrol one which is I'm referring to the object here move to patrol two there we go now we're nice and organized going to select these two, press H to hide them, and we're going to add two conditions to these, and that condition is that the enemy, uh, uh, our, our player, will not be seen. So if, I'm going to add a property here, if our, uh, again, <laughs> make sure your enemy selected. Okay, property. Um, can see player equals to false. So, if this is false, and either of these values are true, patrol 1, patrol 2, then they can move to their patrols. I'm going to switch the um, default patrol value to 1, and now uh, we got to find a way for these behaviors, the, the patrol uh, values, to, to switch between them, and I'm going to use a um, collision sensor for that. So, collision uh, on property, and we're going to call the property, um, call it P1, no caps. And we're going to add a, we're going to add a game property. Make sure your empty is selected. Add game property. P1, no caps, and same thing for this here, but P2, no caps. Again, make sure our enemy is selected here. So on collision with prop an object that has property P1, um, we're going to set our uh, property, our patrol property, Two. All right, so let's test this out. Control S. Now. So there, see it automatically goes to the next one. So now we're gonna do the same thing. Again, make sure enemy is selected. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing, but for this one here. All right, so we're gonna add another uh, property thing. Uh, patrol equals, oh, no, not property, sorry, collision. Silly me. Gonna add another collision sensor. P2. And we're gonna make sure uh, when that happens, the um, patrol is set to 1. Now, I'm sure there are other ways to do this. But this is the way I'm choosing for this video, because it's, I, I'd say it's a good intro to, um, you know, getting set up, you know, just basic enemy AI. All right.
right, I'm gonna just control S and uh, uh, move this bad boy a little bit over here. Or, or maybe even um, there. Move our initial position right there. Okay, let's see here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just move this guy over here a bit. All right, let's see what that does here. There we go. So nice, we have a little patrolling behavior for our enemy. It goes back and forth. But now, we can, there we go, see? Not bad, not bad. Uh, we can also add a, um, uh, we can also add a kind of like f uh, a, a behavior for the enemy to look around um, when they reach their goals, they reach their uh, um, patrol objects. But I think I'll save that for another video because this is this was a lot for uh, today. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, please consider sub subscribing and liking all that jazz. Uh, I have a Patreon if you're into that. It's going to be in the description. Uh, I'll leave the blend file for free too. I'll, I'll uh, maybe have a link to my Google Docs of it if you want to download this to, to follow along or, or I don't know, whatever. Um, see more of the logic behind this. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Bye.